we are going to see today how we can enable windows live writer for the wordpress blog it's very easy to do what you have to do is just go into your writing settings and here are these two things atom publishing protocol and xml rpc just uh, enable those two things and say save setting once it's done what you need is that's the only thing which you need to do on your WordPress blog. You can directly go to your live writer. I have few of my other blogs set up here, but uh, you can go into options, accounts, and here we have all the options. You can say add a WordPress account, post your blog address, username, and your password and say next it's going to detect um, your web page web address settings publishing settings even your theme because it gives you a background which is equivalent to your current theme so it actually ends up downloading few data regarding your theme and uh, what you have on it on your blog it actually helps you uh, to visualize because when you type you actually type in the same interface as you will see the post in your blog so you end up uh, actually seeing it live so right now like it's trying to detect my blog settings for example I have used uh, test uh, my localhost WordPress installation but, uh, it doesn't matter it can connect to any WordPress installation Like right now it's detecting uh, still detecting block settings it can take some time because it has to download many files now it's again blog editing theme so uh, now it's trying to download the theme to give it proper user interface This will ask whether you want uh, to publish a temporary post. This will be removed immediately after your theme is in drive. So, actually, post it create a post on your blog for one to two seconds. So that what it will do is it will post and it will retrieve your theme. And say yes, and it's downloading the home editing theme. So till the time it is downloading, the post is live on that side. So if you have a, your RSS feed activated uh, instantly, you might uh, not want to download your theme because what happens at the end, if you have a big subscribers and you do that, you end up sending them a temporary post of two lines. So once it, like, it is trying to it's downloading supporting files right now now you can give it any name and you can say finish so you have site here press ok and I will close this and we will reopen the live editor because it has added the new site for me so now I have a test site available and if you see that's the current theme which I have so if I try to I'll show you right now if I I don't have the post here okay I have two other posts but I don't have the post here that's part two so now if I say this is a testing post and I will say post draft to blog it 
say it's done. And now if I try to see all the posts, you have it here. This is a testing post. So that's how easy it is. This is just a test stuff, but if you want to use, it has already fetched all your categories. You can give your tags here. Even you can set up the post date where uh, when you, if you want to post it later on. This tool actually has good features. Uh, if you are comfortable, like once you have sent few posts in draft and then you are comfortable enough, you can directly publish from this tool itself. You don't have to even go into your blog to publish also. You can do a lot of thing, lot of things here. You can insert table, these maps, post tags, and emotions, and all those stuff. If you want to, there are additional plugins available. Like if you insert codes and all those kind of stuff, and this actually allows you to uh, directly manage few blog options. You can go into the blog, manage blog, which actually takes you directly to your uh, admin side. And even if I go for this, and if you see, I have a dashboard manage commands, so I can directly go in and do these kind of operations also there. This is a pretty handy tool. I hope you like uh, using Windows Library. Thanks.